Hi there, welcome to another video. I hope you are having a great day today. The dish that I'm going to show you is called Bitcoin Khmer Language, or it can be translated to English as Caramelized Beef Stew. It's an easy sauce of stew but very tasty. You get yourself at home, you'll love this one. And it goes really well with noodles or bread. I hope you tune in. Here are the ingredients and you can see that there are not many. Normally we don't use beef filet to make this, but it's always up to you to decide. First is always start with chopping garlic if you're dealing with meats. Because in Cambodia we believe that the brown garlic will overpower the smells of meat. Peel the skin off from red shallots, then slicing them into thin layers. Then, ah, we've got a visitor. Someone must love beef so much. And chop tomatoes into small dices, like you can see in this video. Chop your piece into medium sized pieces and it's okay if it's big because it will be slowly cooked in a long time anyway.
start cooking it by putting cooking oil in your frying pan but make sure you got a larger frying pan don't use a small one like me when it's getting hot put chopped garlic slight red shallot that you have prepared in Then you can start seasoning it. Put a tablespoon of chili paste in. Two tablespoons of palm sugar. Oh, by the way, this is the traditional palm sugar in Cambodia. And if you don't have palm sugar, you don't have to use it though. White or brown sugar would work too in this case. One tablespoon of fish sauce. One tablespoon of seasoning powder in it too. And half a package of Oriental Beef Spices Powder. The Oriental Beef Spices Powder is an essential part of the ingredients. But you should always use any spices that you can find in your area which can substitute it. After your seasoning, you can put beef in. Frying the beef until the dices are all well coated. Then it's time for water, and for water, it's about three to four cups. Keep it until it's boiling. Then pour in your prepared tomatoes. Let it boil again and simmer it down for 20 minutes or as long as the beef is no longer tough. That's it! You've made yourself a very tasty cuisine which you can eat with bread and noodles. I hope you like this and leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And please consider subscribing or like if you enjoyed this. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. See you.